You may have heard somebody say that it's in the Bible, therefore it's true. Although I do believe there is huge amounts of wisdom in this holy book, and it's been a fantastic contribution to the human race in many, many ways. I still think that just because it's in the Bible doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Like a lot of it is. There's still a lot that should be questioned. And who's to say that humanity doesn't actually evolve and, and it can't change or improve upon what our ancestors in the past found out and discovered who's to say that 2000 years ago we just reached the pinnacle of our evolution and there's no further to go we've written it all down here you go guys that to me sounds very very limiting and just with like anything really i think that you can really see if it's true for you and true for reality in general if it takes away your power if it's disempowering and it harms others and you can see that this belief is very limiting and the fact that if a lot of people had this that it would bring down the society as a whole religion itself has had its place and it still does in many ways and without any form of religion or spiritual belief then we lose a very core part of what it means to be a human. I do believe we need something bigger than us to believe in, in some kind of way. And it's like, how do you structure that and all of this? So I get the idea of religion and I get the idea of the Bible and I read it and I find lots of great wisdom. And I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. I love the perspective on there. One of my favorite parts is the whole Matthew effect. I love that. And that's amazing. They knew all of that way back when but then there's the whole idea of what i was speaking about in a previous video that the fact that the love of money is evil i don't believe that that is true i believe that evil people are evil you can have money and be a good person as i explained just because it's there doesn't mean that it shouldn't be questioned and also i do believe that there is wisdom hidden in the bible that is only able to be understood and unlocked when you are at a certain level of consciousness you have to be a high enough level of consciousness to read these words to actually be, even be able to understand the metaphysical truths behind them which also says that not everything should be taken at face value which does add to a bit of the mystery and the wisdom that has been put into this book but it does mean that we should question things and when we also tie in the fact that everybody here is going to have their own individual spiritual journey if they are on this awakening journey if they choose to take the step and embark on the amazing journey of awakening then they're going to have their own individual way of going about it sure there'll be lots of similarities with other people some people have very similar journeys there'll be teachings that work at one point of a journey that don't work that work at a later part of your journey so it's not like there's just this is the only way to progress spiritually and for you to go about this life i do think that there are fundamental universal truths that go beyond the human experience that we can align to but how we get there is different it's different for everybody uh, and there are so to speak divine laws there are is a divine framework that we as mere humans can seek to align to and just become like a channel a vessel of god of the divine bringing the divine into this world that's all well and good but that's the beautiful journey of evolution